Can you guys hear me now? There we go. All right. Good morning, everybody. Y'all see in the background scenes here. I got to change my glasses into my on TV glasses. All right. I'm trying to change the scripture. I forgot to change the scripture for today. So we're going to go into. Nope. I want to change the scripture for today. I want to have a different thumbnail. All right. So give me a moment here. Let me get this scripture going. And then we are going to. Let's see, which one do we have here? Where was I going with it? And it's going to work with me. We're going to get started. I was on time today, you guys. Yes, I was. All right. Oh, while we wait for that, I'm going to put my apron on. Okay, so hold on a moment here. It's coming up on my screen. It is covering... You know what? Let's just do this. Let's start with the intro. Maybe that'll be the thumbnail. All right. I am Cooking Mean Gene. I educate and demonstrate how easy it is to eat clean and how not to break the bank doing so. Thank you so much for coming to my kitchen. And let's begin with the scripture for today. When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the river, Excuse me, walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. Isaiah 43, 2, that's a New Living Translation version. Now, here we are. Okay, so I got to pin this on. I got to put my uniform on. Got some safety pins here. So, yeah, I, this comes off. I didn't sew it on because I didn't. Okay, I guess the pin should be on the inside, but too bad. There we go. Now, uh, let's see here. I've got two of these. We got to get in our uniform. We got to get ready. So we are ready. Today, as you saw the, uh, the, th the title for this post, I got an email from the USDA because I get emails for food recalls and stuff like that. Oh, I'm coordinated. All right. And uh, very interesting thing popped up about uh, partially hydrogenated oils. How as of Friday they are banning them from uh, all food in the United States of America. Very interesting to me. So I'm going to give you all a quick video today of that. And I got to share my screen with you. It's going to cover me. So I got to figure out how to make myself look fit into the screen. So I got to sit like this. Okay. Leave the camera like it is. There we go. I think we'll do that. Okay. So. This is, let me make it a little larger for you guys. Now, let me just show you the top. There we go. All right. So we are looking at, hold on. Oh, that kind of works. We're looking at a uh, national, the Federal Register a Daily Journal for United States of, the, of America's government, our government in the United States of America. So here revocation of use of the partially hydrogenated oils in foods confirmation and effective day i didn't understand it at first but i'm gonna show you some things i have a few sites i don't know if you guys can see up here see where my mouse is at up here i'm gonna show you guys some different things so uh food and drug administration is confirming effective date of december 22nd which is friday for the final rule that appears in Federal Register, blah, blah, blah. The direct final rule amends our regulation to no longer provide for the use of partially hydrogenated oils in foods given our determination that PHOs no longer generally recognized as safe. <laughs> so, GRAS, I like that, generally recognized as safe. Take note of that. Because uh, when you work for the government, or you're in the government, y'all, some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Learn your abbreviations. They will change, but learn what, as much as you can. So generally recognized as safe. It says are no, uh, no longer generally recognized as safe. The rule also revokes prior sanctions from 1958, blah, 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 blah. The effective date is December 22nd. So as of Friday, partially hydrogenated oils are not allowed in our food in the United States of America. So with that being said, I'm like, so what does that mean? So I went and found 
a law firm, because who else know the National Law Review? It's not a law firm, and how they looked at it. Because how does that? What does that legally mean? So let's see if I can get to the article. Is that the article? Hold on a second here. That is it. Okay, so FDA issues final administrative action on partially hydrogenated oils and food. And let's see here. I'm trying to make it bigger. There we go. The rule removes PHOs as an optional ingredient in standards of identify of identity for like peanut butter and canned tuna. I didn't know they did all that in canned tuna. Okay, so it further revises FDA's regulations, blah, 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 blah. No longer oil. Wait, let me go back here. Now, oh, this is something different I didn't read before. Generally recognized as safe pertaining to rapeseed. Now, rapeseed, hold on, let me go back and read this again. Because rapeseed oil is what they make canola oil from. So let's read this, because that means we can't have canola oil. And that's, I'm, I got to read that slowly. The rule removes PHOs as an optional ingredient in the standards of identif identity for peanut butter and canned tuna. Further, it revises FDA's regulations affirming food substances as generally recognized as safe pertaining to Manhattan oil rapeseed oil to no longer include partially hydrogenated oh okay so canola oil rapeseed oil comes from canola uh, canola oil comes from rapeseeds so they had phos in canola oil i don't use canola oil i never recommend that you ever use canola oil in your life again also vegetable oil i would never recommend you to use that ever again this to me that can't come in my house that's like poison to me so now Anyhow, that's my opinion. You can look it up. One day I'll, I'll do a, a special on that. So you can no longer include partially, partially hydrogenated forms of these oils. All right. So it's not saying that they ban these oils, but you cannot have those forms of oils partially hydrogenated. Okay. All right. Now, um, let's see here. Um, do we need to know any more of this stuff here? No, nope, we don't need to know. That's the same stuff we just read. Let's get into what those what these oils are. Just one second here. Uh, okay, I'm trying to see if there's anything else here that we might want. Nope. Let's go over to We're not be, we're not doing it. We're not drinking that. No. What is partially hydrated oil and what's and why is it in our your food? Our food. All right. Let me skip down here. It's in microwave popcorn, in case y'all didn't know that. Kind of knew that. It's in coffee creamer. It's in potato chips. All right. Partially hydrogenated oil is a solid form of vegetable oil that has undergone hydrogenation. Hmm. This process adds hydrogen, hydrogen molecules to the liquid vegetable oil and transforms it into a room a solid at room temperature. During this process, trans fat forms. Trans fats is the worst fat to consume. All right. So partially hydrogenated oils had a lot of trans fat. If you read. Now, let me say this here. Hold on. Let me just do this real quick here. We're looking at stuff on the Internet. The government website, that's a decision that I would trust and say that they did the law firm but when you're on the internet you don't take everything as gospel okay so this is one person's opinion on hydrogenated oils the government decided not to have them in there anymore we, we don't trust that one right there as far as you trust the government and we're going to go from there but this is someone's website i clicked on i don't this is not my bible when it comes to food okay just remember that every time you're on the internet looking at me looking at everybody listening to us reading whatever don't think it's just we're not the gospel we're not the be all the end all we're not the end of the subject we're a part of it when we're discussing it but that's about it moving on okay now with that being said 
All right, what are trans fats? Vegetable oil chemically alters partially hydrogenated blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to see if there's anything worth value in this article. Vegetable oil chemically altered to form partially hydrogenated oil during the hydrogenation process. PHO contains trans fatty acids. You said that already. Two types, naturally occurring trans fatty acids we get in our food naturally. And then the kind that's added by these chemicals. All right. So fried and processed foods. This is what I want to talk about. Foods that contain partially hydrogenated oil, microwave popcorn, vegetable oil, vegetable shortening. That kind of hurts me because I do use vegetable shortening when I am making uh, pie crust. But I use uh, the one from the health food store. There, I forgot the name of it, and it costs just a little bit more. And I haven't bought it in a while. I don't have any in the house to show you guys. If otherwise, I would. Bakery items made with margarine and vegetable oil. I hope by now you guys know margarine is not what we're going to do. No. Mm -mm -mm. And our vegetable shirts, excuse me. Non-dairy creamers, potato and corn chips, pre-made pizza dough, frosting. Frosting, they put, I think they put frosting on here because you make, you can make uh frosting with vegetable uh shortening because if you want to make a buttercream did i do it with buttercream i think that's yeah i made no you can i think i don't know, understand though because i've never seen where frosting would have that unless i'm mean, using i use butter so but i use this yeah anyway what's the purpose of a partially hydrogenated oil it's expensive, expensive, inexpensive substitute for lard. So you're saying lard is better and lard is, yeah, and butter because it improves food texture. No, it doesn't improve food texture. We just thought it was better. Okay, I'm going to disagree with this statement right here. As soon as it shows up on the screen, I, I'm going to disagree with that. Manufacturers use parsley hydrated oil to increase shelf life. It is it does not improve the food texture. They made us get used to the food texture because that's what we're used to. I know some people who don't want to need to make anything from scratch because they want it to taste like the way it grew up and they like the way the store brand tastes and they don't want the uh, right way. When you give somebody something new, something easy, well, I should say easy, but something that'll help them and they're used to this old decrepit way the way that's hurting them but if they that's not the flavor they wanted that's in their mind they don't want what you have they won't there's some people who just don't want to eat well because this is not how i grew up with this this is not the flavor i know so it didn't improve a texture i don't i want to totally disagree with that because we got used to food being fake so no anyway all right um this is where i get the information from canola oil Let's see here. I don't know if you guys care about that. Where is this health line is where I got this from? I don't think I, I didn't look at this one. Let's see what they say. And my, there we go. My internet's working well today. Canola oil is a vegetable base found in countless foods, blah, blah, blah. What I want to know is how it's made. Where is it at? All right, there we go. Just so you guys know. Um, some people told me canola oil was made in the lab and how come I can't get my screen to do what I want it to do I'm trying to get it to move over there we go there we go all right so it is from the rapeseed plant I did I didn't think it was. I thought it was from a, a, a lab, like someone had told me, but you have to do your own research. So, uh, but I just, I will never, I don't ever want that in my house again. I'll have peanut oil, olive oil, avocado oil, grapeseed oil. I got to learn more about that. Anyway, canola seeds. Why you call it canola seeds? Okay, see, this is why I don't trust every article that I read. You're going to call it canola seeds, but it been a minute ago you called it rapeseed. Okay, y'all, so anyhow, 
that's just my min my thing here on uh, so it's from the plant the rapeseed plant but you call it canola seeds is that how is this maybe i need to know more i need to know more all right so now there's one more thing that has nothing to do with oil but it's with the government and this popped up in my email also this they're, they said they are aware of three sugars that are that metabolize differently in the body than traditional sugars. Allulose, betacatose, isomaltose. Is isomaltose. Uh, I said that wrong. Anyhow, I got allulose right here in my cabinet right now. But they didn't say what their research is. Okay, what research on consumer awareness understand being? So there, somebody's asking them, please provide the data. And they haven't, but they, they're thinking about it. Government here, let me go to the top here so y'all can see where I'm getting this information from. Oh, wow, I was way at the... Okay, hold on. Federal Register. Sugars that are metabolized differently than traditional sugars. So, um, again, this stuff pops up in my email from the FDA, from USDA, when there's, there's different food recalls, and that's where I get this from. So, uh, anyway, that's what we got for you guys. That's what I got for you guys today. If you guys uh, got any questions, yep, you would go to federalregister.gov, as you can see at the top of the screen here and see and go under that list or the USDA uh, and see and get on their mailing list. And my battery on my computer says it's about my, I didn't plug up my Mac, y'all. Okay, I got 9%. Let me end this up real quick before it ends it for me. All right, y'all, let's move to the screen here. Remember in January, 2024, we have eaten clean Club Eating Clean with Cooking Mean Jean. And uh, oh my goodness, I don't want my battery to die. So anyhow, don't forget about that. I'll remind you about that later a little more when I have some more time on my screen here. And as usual, how many, how long I've been on here today? I don't even know. Oh, 18 minutes. I was talking too long. Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, like, comment, follow, subscribe. This is going live on Twitter, uh, Facebook, and YouTube. So do all that. Thumbs up, everybody. Come on now. But hook me up. Love you guys. See y'all tomorrow around 10 a.m. I was on time today. Yes, I was. Thank you, Jesus.